Today at the Jerome B farm we've been painting some boxes and screen bottom boards and slatted racks. And my grandson Hayden's over here. He's going to help me uh, put on a high body. That's Hayden. And we're also making a little bridge down the woods so we had the saw out. So also it rained yesterday. We got a bunch of boxes we're going to burn. So Hayden's going to pilot the lawnmower down to the burn pit. So we'll see you down there. See you down there, Hayden. This is a two-story newt. This is one that we uh, put a queen in from a queenless split. And that's how you get rid of a bunch of boxes so it doesn't fill up your trash can okay Hayden's gonna feed this beehive right here this is a uh, split that we did and added a queen that we mail ordered in there go ahead Hayden so it's two-story right now because uh, we don't want to put the feeder out on the front so the feeder is inside Just a uh, egg drop soup container from the Chinese store, Chinese food. Got a bunch of holes punched in it. So you put it back on there and you leave a little hole for the bees to get in and out of. Just like that. Put the lid back on. This is a cutout we did from up the road. It's the same way. It's got a little bit left in there. Let's go ahead and uh, do a hive inspection on this real quick. Okay. I'm going to go through this real quick. Look for the queen. I'll find her on the prime marker. So it's not a real strong hive, so I'm worried about hive beetles and wax moths. contemplating adding a frame of brood but they seem like they're doing well looks like they're starting to draw that right there took these out of our neighbor's house there's the queen so 
keep her isolated right there. Here's the total of brood frame and everything I got out of that whole hive. Not a whole lot. A little bit of brood right here. Looks like they're working this. Storing the nectar right here. So they got food. Half of that container was empty, so I know they've taken uh, at least a quart because I fed them some before as well. So I'm going to try and mark this queen. I know blue's the wrong color, but blue's what I have, so blue's what it's going to be. This in the camera. Get her up here to the top. There we go. Got her nice and marked there, so we'll let that dry. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. Gonna let her walk back into the hive. There she goes. Down in. Okay. Put the beetle trap there. Get that tape sealed there in the back. Oh, right. Cover that hole. That's so the other bees can't get in there and get their food. Okay, put the lid on. Awesome. All right, what we got here is a two story newt that we're going to. Reduce it down to a single story uh, 10, 10 frame box. They're doing really good. Uh, this again was another split that we put a queen in that we purchased. Okay, go ahead and take the lid off. nine frames in this. There's four in the top and five in the bottom. So these four top ones probably have honey, so they'll go on the outside. Yeah, 
up. That's all shiny. Top is uh, pollen right in here, but all this is honey. This on the outside. All shiny. Honey, fake honey anyway, it's sugar water. Put the shiny side to the inside so it's closer to them. Oh, this is all larvae right here. So, surrounded by honey. So this will probably need to be more in the center, and this is fresh laid eggs on this side. That whole spot that's not covered is all eggs. So you can see all the white larvae in there. And this side is all eggs. I don't know if you can see, and those are not. These little white dots are fresh laid eggs and I marked this queen blue so I don't see any blue dots she's not on this frame right now but I'll put it in the center as a kind of a place marker that's empty and that's honey That's it. Thanks for watching.